Yo, what's good guys, Karik here. Welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be going over how to light up your products inside of Blender professionally. So first of all, import your product. Here I got an Xbox model. Make sure that your product is high quality with some nice textures. Make sure your topology and everything is on point. Once you have that point checked, then we can start by positioning the cam and setting up the lights. Now add a camera to your scene, position your object, and for the cam, Go into the cam settings and you're going to be using a very high focal length, something above 80 or 90. A higher focal length lens is going to look way more professional on product since it's now opposed to a fisheye lens. So make sure you set your focal length to something like 140, 150 depending on your scene. Once you're happy with your cam positioning, we can light up the product. Go into your world lighting and set the strength to zero. A higher strength, especially when you don't have any HRIs or light textures, is going to give you a very ugly gray lighting. So make sure you have it checked to zero. So add an area light and position it to the side of your object, something like this. And yeah, so once you have it positioned something like this, then you can increase its power. So once you have positioned your rim light, you can decrease the size a little bit to get some nicer details. Once you're happy with the positioning of your rim light, we can use a backlight now. So add an area light behind your object and set it just like I do. Increase the power by a lot. So I'll set it to something like 3000 and you can increase the size a little bit. So what this is gonna do is that it's gonna show the outlines of your product and basically just show the size of your product. So increase the scale, increase the size, and mess with the positioning of it until you get something that you like. I think something like this looks good. Now we're gonna be adding a bounce light to the side of the product. Since as you can see, the shadows are way too dark, you can see nothing. So you need a plane for it to reflect some light. Position a plane to the side of your product and position it in a way where it catches light and reflects it onto your product, something like this. As you can see, now you can see some detail. You can mess with its scale and its position and it can give you some different results. Just make sure that your shadows aren't too dark and that you can at least see something. And now once you have your plane positioned, you're pretty much done. Or if you don't like the sliding um, down, you can add an area light. So add an area light down, position it up increase its power and you're gonna have something like this so you can yeah mess with both of them and check what looks better on your product once you're happy with your lighting you can set the render samples to something like 1024 if you're rendering one still or 256 if you're rendering an animation and then hit render go import it into after effects photoshop whatever compositing software you use and you can add your color correction there and other stuff and this project file is going to be available on patreon for free go check it out in the description down below and that's pretty much it